famous for its abundant forests and lakes and brands like IKEA, Spotify and Volvo, Sweden has been seeing massive labor shortages since 2021. Almost 1,24,000 jobs that were advertised last month went unfulfilled. For a country like Sweden, with a very tiny population, that number is a huge blow to its workforce. So liberalizing immigration only makes more sense for Sweden. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the newly launched job seeker visa in Sweden. Yes, you heard me right. Sweden launched its own job seeker visa. And there are some amazing perks because this is a new job seeker visa. So they obviously don't have a lot of requirements. It's much more simpler than Germany or Austria. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about it. So if you are somebody who's been eyeing Europe for some time and want to take that chance for yourself, especially in Sweden, then this video is for you. So make sure you stick around. So I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, this is a news that's been hot in the oven. It's been an expected move for some time, but nobody expected it to be this quick and this soon. So this was something that was announced very recently or on July 4th, 2022. That's when Sweden announced that it's going to start job seeker visa. What I like about this particular job seeker visa is it's a dual intent visa. You can either go for jobs, like if you want to look for a job, or you can also go if you are somebody who is entrepreneurial, wants to just go there and look for, say, business opportunities. So we're going to talk all about that. I'm also going to divide this video into three sections because I want to make sure that I'm giving you all the information that you need. After this, if you need any other information, please put your comments and questions down in the comment box below so that I can see them, respond to them, or maybe come up with a video. All right. So the first point that I want to mention is language barrier. I know anytime I talk about Europe, the first question, the literally the first question that most people ask is, do I need to know the local language? And I'm always going to give you the right answer that I think is the correct answer, not a diplomatic answer. I'm not going to come up here and say, oh, you don't need to know the local language, etc. I personally think that you need to know the local language, if not for your job, but for social integration, because most people use the local language in European countries uh, just to come together as a community, just to get integrated socially. So I do think that that's required, but I also think that that's required for social integration. And a country like Sweden is actually trying to erase its language barrier. Just look at this clip that you see up on the screen. Companies and organizations have literally been telling hiring managers not to look at Swedish proficiency and to get away and do away with language barriers when they're trying to recruit and hire people. In fact, most of the jobs that now are posted in Sweden do not even have the criteria of knowing the local language. So if you're somebody who's going to think about Sweden very seriously after this video, my recommendation is try picking up basic Swedish language. You could do this on any free apps. You have so many apps these days that you could use. So just use one of those language apps and start learning from that maybe. And that could be a good stepping stone. But don't worry about the language barrier in terms of just finding the job because these are tales from olden times. And that was point number one. Now now let's jump to point number two, which is the job seeker visa that has been newly launched. And I do not want to waste any more of your time here. There are six pointers or six criteria for eligibility. I know you want to run away from this video right now, but you have to hear the eligibility criteria out. Trust me, this is the easiest job seeker visa that I've come across. Not lying, this is not a clickbait. You have to hear their eligibility criteria. Number one, you should be somebody who's looking for a job in Sweden or is looking to start a business in Sweden. Number two, is you're somebody who's educated. Number three, you can support yourself financially while doing the job hunt. Number four, you can get yourself health insurance while you're in Sweden looking for a job. Number five, you have a valid passport that will last for your entire stay in Sweden, meaning that your passport is not nearing expiration. And number six, you're not somebody who lives in Sweden. So if you're a student or if you're already employed there or if you're doing any kind of an internship research project, if you have any status in Sweden and if you're somebody who's already living in Sweden, you're not eligible to apply for this. That's it. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what's the experience requirement? Well, there is no experience requirement. There is nothing that they state about experience. I'm not kidding. I will leave all the links in the description box so you can go and check it out. So you could be an absolute fresher and you could still be applying for this job seeker visa and taking your chances. And that I think is amazing. Also, there is no language requirement. You know how Germany has a requirement to know German? There is no such language requirement in Sweden. So you don't need experience. You don't need language requirement. There is no shortage list also. A lot of countries countries only allow foreigners to come in and work for, say, a shortage list. So while Sweden has a shortage list of its own, there is no requirement of you to be on a profession that is from that shortage list just to get a job seeker visa. So you can be from any background. 
you can have zero experience, you can know nothing about the Swedish language, and you can still be eligible to apply and get yourself a job seeker visa in Sweden. Yes, it's that simple. Yes, you heard me right. I know it seems like a scam, but that's exactly what the world said when Canada started its express entry process back in 2015-2016. Everybody, including me, called it a scam. And uh, I'm here today on a PR. That's because it eventually did turn out to not be a scam. So this is also not a scam. You can see I'm pulling up a screenshot from the immigration website of the Swedish government. This is the official website. The link is going to be in the description box. Please make sure you go and check it out. I personally think that this entire process has been made easy for now because one, it's a new process and two, because Sweden really needs immigrants to come in and work. So I do think that it's easy right now for a reason. I don't think it's going to be this easy forever. So if you want to take your chances, maybe now is the right time. All right, when it comes to you being educated, that education piece has been slightly defined. So by education, they mean that you should either have a master's, a postdoc, a PhD, or a professional certification. From my understanding and from my conversations with my network with uh, the immigration lawyers in Sweden, a lot of them tend to think that these professional certifications are more like, say, your CA, your CPA, your ACCA. It's about having a professional certification. So if you are somebody who has some kind of a professional certification, you know, it could be in actuaries, it could be in accounting, it could be in various fields, you are still eligible for this. But yes, there is a little bit of a requirement when it comes to education. And that's about it. Currently, they do not mention any fees on their website, but I'm pretty sure there's a fees associated to it. So once you start your application, I think once your application goes through, it's then that the fees is applicable. So you can maybe pay the money then. And what I also like about this job seeker visa is that you can get the visa for anywhere between three to nine months. This depends on the Swedish immigration authority. Once they look at your case, that's when they'll decide how long of a visa do you deserve. Uh, and you can go from there. But the maximum time on this visa is nine months, which I think is good because most job seeker visas only last for six months. So it's good to have those three more months of buffer. Now, do keep in mind that you will have to apply for a work permit after you get a job. You don't have to leave Sweden for that. You can apply for that work permit from Sweden itself, especially if you're on a job seeker visa. And that's a very straightforward process. That's how they've mentioned it on their website also. I also looked up their application form and it looked very simple and easy to me. The only thing that I felt was slightly different on this application form was that you're going to be giving the Swedish government the right to reach out to your educational uh, institute or educational licensing body and uh, verify your credentials, which I think is very fair. I mean, even when you apply for Canadian BR, you have to get your credentials verified. So this is just a verification process that they want to do themselves. And as of now, that's how it's listed. So you don't have to go and get your degree verified anywhere. They'll do it. You just have to authorize them to reach out to these different uh, bodies on your behalf. So you could be your college, it could be your institute, it could be, uh, you know, wherever you are licensed. So that was everything about the job seeker visa. The third point that I want to discuss in this video is the labor shortage list. Keep in mind that this has no bearing whatsoever on the job seeker visa, there is a labor shortage list because most countries have it. Any country that's undergoing labor shortage will have a labor shortage list. Uh, so Sweden also has its own labor shortage list and there's a huge list. Honestly, I am someone who goes through these lists for various countries and I do this very often, uh, but I just felt like the Swedish list was a little long. I don't know if you get that sense or not. I'm going to leave that link in the description box as well. So let me know if you get that sense as well. But obviously keep in mind that if your profession is not on this list, it will have no bearing what whatsoever on your ability to apply for a job seeker visa. Also, that doesn't mean that your profession is not in demand. I genuinely feel, believe and have experienced firsthand that any good professional with the right skill sets, the right attitude to learn and somebody who's pleasant and wants to grow will always have demand irrespective of the field that they come from. So why am I sharing this list for Sweden? Because I want you to be at ease. I want you to know that there is a labor shortage list that you can look at and get some idea. This can also help you plan your job hunt or your strategies, especially if you're thinking of Sweden seriously. Uh, it can help you put yourself out there. It can also help you if your profession is not there. If your profession is not there, then you know you need different strategies to make sure that your profile is being looked at, that your profile is uh, coming up on recruiters list, etc. So in short, this list is just to keep you well informed about what's going on in Sweden overall. And I'm going to leave all the links in the description box. 
In case you're wondering how is it that you can start your application process, please make sure you start working on your LinkedIn. I have a LinkedIn masterclass that I'm going to link up right here. Uh, also going to add the link in the description box and maybe in the comments somewhere. So if you're interested, make sure you go check that out as well. It has helped a lot of people. So putting yourself out on LinkedIn is the best way. Apart from that, I'll make sure to add my favorite job websites in the pinned comment as well. So please make sure you check those out. On that note, this amazing video has also come to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you will be considering Sweden. If you will, let me know in the comments below because I keep reading your comments. They always help me plan not just my content but also understand what is it that you want. Please keep letting me know which of my videos are helpful for you etc. And if you have any other questions about this job seeker visa or anything in general, you can put that down in the comment box below as well. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel, do all the drill so that I can also be rewarded a little bit and I can also smile here in my little chair. I promise to see you in the next video. Until then, you make sure you take care of yourself. Stay safe. Namaste.